Now I want to talk about a typical second order low pass structure. Typically what you'd imagine is, is an inductor resistor capacitor type circuit like what you'd see here in the middle. This sort of looks like a second order low pass and we're going to kind of talk about what these kind of behaviors look like. Now you can sort of start by analyzing this circuit and what you'd realize is that in Laplace domain this is just a voltage divider. You're going to have these two elements with this one and then it's just this one on top which basically gives you this resulting transfer function which falls into a typical response of a 1 over 1 plus s tau over q plus s squared tau squared. So a typical kind of function form that you would expect. All right. So then you say that's great. How do I talk about this? Well, you want to talk about this both in frequency and in and in step response. Why? Step response is often what you are going to typically be using. It's typically what you're going to see as a result of what you're actually measuring and working with very easy to see step responses. Frequency responses are wonderful analytic tools but often not easy to measure without a lot more equipment to work with it. So if you take a step response, you have a step response there. Now remember that would give you another 1 over s term and then you could actually end up solving this uh, usually separating out the two fractions and solving for the result. The output that you get is again up to zero and then after that it starts to take off and we get we might get this oscillatory type of solution. It could have just a bit converged in. It also could have had an oscillatory solution with many, many more iterations in it. Either way, you have this whole richness. And a lot of that will be dependent on what is Q. So tau, and for this structure we can see the calculated tau. What you have for the tau for this structure is a very straightforward sort of normalization factor. Right? And tau here is going to be L times C, or tau squared is L times C. Q is going to be related to what is this resistance value primarily related to the L. People often will refer to it as what is the quality factor because a typical inductor may actually have some serious resistance and so a high quality inductor would have very little effect of serious resistance. If you really wanted to have a structure that was very much an oscillatory structure, pushing it really close to resonance, which has some has some very useful circuit properties, it's also you're playing right at the edge of stability. So you're kind of playing with fire a little bit, unless you kind of know how to balance your structure. But this is the kind of structure you'd see. Now, what you would end up seeing by a typical low-pass structure is you might get this kind of a response here, where it'll be very much towards one. At very low frequency, it's 1 over s. And then I may see this falling off, or I may end up seeing this have some sort of increasing bump. It plotted a frequency that wasn't quite this same one down here. It was a much lower q, so this is a q closer to like about a half or so. And you get a, this kind of frequency response roll off. So you'll see this case where it's a sort of second integrator response. Again, that's what 1 over s squared means. You'll also talk about this as minus 40 dB per decade. Be really careful. People get used to kind of memorizing a term and just using it and, and eventually forgetting all about what this means. So be very cautious here. But it's a very useful term. And what it basically says is if I change things by a decade or an order of magnitude, I will then decrease the result by two orders of magnitude. So a decrease in the factor of 10 means I decrease the output as a factor of 100. Uh, if I do something by an octave, which is a factor of 2, I would decrease by a factor of 4. So just kind of be aware of that. The other thing I'll notice is I get a very interesting phase shift going from 0, because basically it looks like at low frequency it just passes through with a gain of 1, to eventually having a phase that's almost 180 degrees. And right at the corner frequency, I'm sitting at 90. So because it's two poles, I'm going to actually go from go from 0 to 180 degrees. You usually get about 90 degrees per pole. And this gives you kind of the rough idea of what I'd expect with this low-pass low, low structure. This circuit, you'll see this used again and again, and it's used almost everywhere. And it's a nice sort of prototypical concept, partially because we also understand a really comfortable low-pass filter structures.